Hello friends, welcome to Insight Text. This is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its control system. So friends, in the substation equipment testing series, today we are going to learn about battery impedance testing. First of all, let us understand what a battery set in a substation is. As you know, battery set are used for DC supply in the substation and DC supply is the heart of any substation. So it is very important that the battery set in a substation is healthy and to check its healthiness, battery impedance test is very important. First of all, let us see what is a battery set. So in this battery set at the substation, we have each battery of 2 volt. So if you have 55 batteries in one set, then it will be a battery set of 110 volts. Okay, and if the battery set is having 110 batteries in each set, then the battery set will be of 220 volts. Generally, it is very common that the battery set capacity is considered in ampere hours. Okay, so we call it as a 100 AH battery. For example, if this is a one set is of 100 AH, that means when the load is of 1 ampere, then this battery set can give you supply, can give you DC power for 100 hours. Okay. So, and if the uh, battery is, uh, if the battery set is having a load of 10 amperes, then this set will supply for 10 hours. So, that is what ampere hours indicate. Right. Now, let us see battery impedance testing and its importance. Now, first of all, let us see what is impedance. So, friends, impedance is a combination of resistance and reactance. When resistance adds up to reactance, we get impedance. So, for a battery set, resistance are of two types. First one is the electrical or say ohmic resistance and second one is the ionic resistance. Electrical resistance is same, is the, it is the measure of opposition of current flow in electrical system as we know. And ionic resistance that is also opposition to current flow but it is due to electrolyte conductivity and how the electrode surface is made of. Okay, so electric resistance and ionic resistance both when combined together gives us the resistance then which when added to reactance gives us total impedance. So using this test we are going to measure the impedance. So your question will be what, why do we need to measure the impedance of the battery or say what is the importance of battery impedance. So basically the internal ohmic values AC resistance can be useful tool and can be useful for indicating the overall health of the battery. Okay. And internal impedance is measured in the range of 1 million to 5 ohms. So if it is a 100 ampere hour battery set, capacity of this battery is 100 AH, then the base impedance would be approximately about 1.5 ohms. And if the ampere hour capacity increases, say it is 150 ampere AH, then the impedance decreases. So what do we conclude is, Lower impedance indicates higher ampere R value. Your, if your value of impedance is coming low, then the ampere R capacity of the battery is more. Right? And generally, it is observed that when there is 25% increase in the resistance, whenever the resistance is increased, there is a drop in 20% AH capacity. Right? So, always we have to try to keep to uh, see that what are the values of impedance and lower the value of impedance, the better it is for the AH capacity of the battery. Now friends, moving on towards the battery impedance testing kit. This is a Megar Make by 3 model of a battery impedance testing equipment. This is how in the picture it looks like and also we have got the uh, this dual prop that is used to measure when this is connected to this battery set, uh, sorry, this impedance kit, uh, then you can measure the battery impedance. 
so how it does is this ac resistance can be measured using an injection method okay where a small current of 1000 hertz ac is injected into the battery and because uh, based on the ohms law you will get the total impedance so by measuring the impedance of each cell and comparing it with previous results you can uh, know if the value of impedance has increased or decreased and based on that increase or decrease in the value we can easily know what is the health of that particular battery cell okay for typically if it is a lead acid batteries then this impedance varies from say 5 to 10% from the previous test okay and uh, yeah that is important also that uh, we do this test on a particular period of time say every 6 months or every 1 month so if the interval is fixed then you can easily know the what is the variation and based on the variation the health of the battery cell can be shown easily now let us see using how this kit we actually measure the battery so friends this is the kit okay and this is a battery set using this dual probes as you can see we can measure you have to put that probe on between the two cell and when you uh, press those buttons then you will get the value of the impedance will be on the screen right uh using this kit you can also measure the impedance of this connecting link over here see there is impedance is given in milli ohms 0.18 and what is the voltage of that cell is also indicated over here right so uh this is how you can do the battery impedance testing there are various settings in this kit available so you can uh do various settings and measure the impedance also right you can also see different results and if you have stored the results then you can easily compare the results also using the same kit friends this is all about better impedance testing its importance how the testing is done if you have any kind of doubts you can ask in the comments below and also let us know what type of videos do you want to see in the future we'll come up with such more videos thank you for watching our videos keep watching